Scorpio, how are you, my loves? What's up, water babies? Welcome to the Mother Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time you're on my channel, hey, I'm welcome. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, you may cuss a little bit, a lot of it just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? But I definitely cuss. It's my shit, alright? For those of you who like, share, and subscribe, thank you very, very, very much. I truly appreciate it. But to all of my new subscribers, Welcome to the family, baby, where we laugh, we cry, we uplift, we enlighten, and most of all, we love and we are seen, okay? This will be from the 1st to the 15th of July, 2018. These are just general. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. I only schedule within 24 hours out, so you're going to do the same day, or you're going to get done tomorrow. That's period. We don't have three and four day waits at the Mocha Love Tarot channel unless I at the Mocha show here, okay? Unless I have somewhere to go or something like that. But other than that, we don't do that. So y'all hit me up. I'm not 100% booked. And you know, if this is the general kind of relates to you just a little bit, but not so much, don't apply, let it fly. But if it does and you need to know more, hit me up in the email, okay? That information is below. Um, I don't like long intros, all right? I've already shuffled the cards, but I'm going to shuffle them again. Again, this is general. So this is, will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watchers for the sign of Scorpio, okay? So let's see what I'm going on for the month of July. How have everybody been? Hopefully everything has been very abundant, very prosperous. I haven't heard from my Scorpio friend in a while, but hey, you know y'all, when y'all get mad at people, or y'all being y'all feelings about whatever, you know, y'all be like, no, -uh, we ain't not. Ugh. Okay, Scorpio getting their feelings, you're not going to know nothing, okay? If they ever talk to your ass again, all right? So I don't feel no type of way because I see the divine love of every person, so it's cool. I still love you, baby. But Scorpios in general, y'all don't play that shit, huh? Yes, I learned the day. <laughs> Just kidding, y'all. That's right. The spirit, please give me the messages from the first to the fifteenth of July. I'm gonna ride the cross watches for Sun Scorpio. Okay. All right, Scorpio, y'all busting out the gate quick. The messages came very quickly, right? Fifteen. Scorpio, Swords just got a similar reading. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Swords. All right. Oh, also, I'm gonna pull everybody an angel message. This is the Doreen Virtue uh, Crystal Angel Scroll Deck. Okay. Anything you wanted to know? Okay. Please give me a message for message for. Okay. I like that, Scorpio. Your angle, me your angel message, okay, is tiger's eye. As a matter of fact, Mocha has a tiger's eye. For so those of you who be like Mocha crystals, I'm gonna be up on them, okay? I'm working on the website so y'all can actually be able to go buy crystals from the kid if you want to order some crystals and stones. Definitely, all right. This is my awakening the Kundalini deck. That's a big. Crystals. I'm trying not to say it over here. Got me on my level. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so let's get it. This is the card you put in the crystal in this deck. Tiger's eye. Protective stone. I use it for protection. Some of y'all might want to look into Tiger's eye this month for the 1st to the 15th of July. Tiger's eye, it says self-confidence, <clears throat> self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you, okay? Ironically, that would explain this whole magician card, okay? You have the magician with the outcome of the Ace of Cups, okay? So you have everything that you need. You have the wisdom. You have the love experience. You have the balance. You have everything that you need. 
You know, you know how to communicate. Some of y'all are going through a major transformation coming from the month of June, okay? So from the 1st to the 15th of July, a lot of y'all are going to be, I feel like this, a lot of y'all are, some of y'all are getting over this energy here of crying over spilled milk or crying over what you feel or what illusion. Because some, some of us, this a lot of this is some illusion-like energy. For some of you, you feeling like you're not good enough. Some of y'all are feeling like you got rejected. Or some of y'all are feeling like, you know, there is, like you weren't enough. Okay? And you're crying over all of your past experiences and these little cups right here on the ground and the things that spilled out of them. But look, you're not looking at the big picture. Look at the two cups standing. Look at the light, the divine light shining, okay, from that crystal castle, shining on the two cups that's still standing. You still have two cups still standing. Where are you going to put them, okay? But some of y'all, some of y'all could be ending or finding out about a third-party situation, okay? Could include the Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? Um... For some of y'all, especially if you're dealing with air energy, I feel like some of y'all are going to be cutting off a Gemini Libra Aquarius due to a third party situation and you getting truth and clarity regarding that third party situation in the month of July. For some of y'all, that message is going to come in. For some of y'all, I feel like, even when I feel when I touch this card, I feel like for some of y'all, y'all could be getting this message. Some of y'all going to be pissing somebody off, okay? I feel like some of y'all are only hanging in the situation or hanging around stagnant in the situation. Um, <clears throat> to be honest with you, strictly for this truth and clarity. But some of y'all, y'all going to make a passionate move towards a fire sign. Every little sad, strong emphasis on the sad, okay? Or this may, you have, may have sad in your chart. Um, but I do see... And whatever situation that wasn't going anywhere that you felt was stagnant due to truth and clarity and someone not really getting the full... You know, the full understanding of the situation or whatever there was. Maybe it was just a perspective shift that needed to be had, okay? But I feel like with all of these swords, with all of these sword cards, there's a lot of communication. I feel like somebody could have thought that someone was having a three party relationship or someone possibly uh, heard something about it through maybe word of mouth or maybe friends and things of that nature. Well, some of y'all could actually be cutting off Sagittarius as well. I definitely feel like Gemini Libra Aquarius getting cut off, all right? And this is something some of y'all have been hanging in this shit for maybe a year. Some of y'all have been hanging in this for maybe like about 10 months. Some of y'all, you know, but I definitely feel like if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, some of y'all could be having a Sagittarius that you're hanging in there with, even though this person you feel always leaves you for what they may feel is a better option. Some of y'all not taking that shit. Look, you're not going to do this shit. I'm over it, okay? Some of y'all are moving towards the divine love. It could be another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. Some of y'all have family situations, okay, with a Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Virgo. I feel strong emphasis on the Taurus. And some of y'all want to turn around a family situation. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be a Taurus to make it more abundant because maybe in the past there wasn't a sense of balance. Maybe they want balance balance in the past, okay? So some of y'all are coming through with this higher friend energy, maybe going back and communicating where you feel like either yourself or someone went so or someone else was carrying all the weight. But some of y'all, y'all just gonna, you know, go back and turn that situation around, offer some clarity. For some of y'all I feel like this is a pride issue that I'm looking at as well. Somebody got a lot of pride in this. Okay, but whatever this is, the outcome of one of the outcome cards here is abundance, happy wife, happy life, and much, much movement. Do you understand? The Shmani is a common. Okay, so don't sit in this energy from the first to the fifteen. Get a move on it because this energy here is just keeping you stagnant, okay? When there's really a lot of things that you should be moving on to be passionate about. For some of y'all, y'all definitely finna run into um your soulmate, your life partner. For some of y'all, some of y'all could be proposing to someone or getting proposed to. Congratulations, okay? Especially if you're dealing with a Taurus, okay? All right, let's get some clarifiers going for my Scott Bills. Spirit, please clarify. May I be able to have from the first to the 15th? Okay, now. Okay. My Scorpios, one more time. All right. Let's get some clarifiers for me. It's three of swords. Thank you. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Some of y'all definitely going to be getting truth, okay? Truth and clarity regarding what you feel. Or it could just be an energy of a three-party situation. So for some of y'all, some of y'all got cut off by somebody and somebody possibly thought that you had them in a three-party situation. For some of y'all, it definitely was a three-party situation. And I feel like this has to do possibly with the Gemini Libra Aquarius as well. For some of y'all, y'all could be getting information regarding a, 
an air sign that put you in a three party situation. And some of y'all don't get their ass off, okay? They could have put you in a three party situation, um, possibly with the water sign or possibly with the Sagittarius. See that here too. All right, the tower card, okay? So whatever it is that comes through, whatever word of mouth, whatever messages that come through, uh, regarding this truth and clarity, okay? For some of y'all around this next full moon, I do see that. Um, or it could have actually be happening, it could have be occurring, like going, coming from June into July. For some of y'all, that full moon body is some shit, okay? For some of y'all, I feel like those of you who are moon gazers, who, because I'm seeing someone looking up at the moon, for those of you who are moon gazers, I feel like whatever download or whatever information that you got from the moon while you were moon gazing, I feel like... Your angels or your spirit guides were trying to communicate something with you, like your next move, okay? I feel like for some of y'all, some of y'all feel like left out or rejected possibly from the mother of your children, or this could be a tourist, or this could be someone who you look at as like a mother or wife, a nurturing, um, a nurturer, someone who you would possibly want to create with, or a creator of some sort, maybe like I said, a mother, I'll tune them and feel, I'm going to take it, all right? Yeah, some of y'all are hanging in a situation. It's crazy because on this hangman, y'all have three cards to fill, and I'm going to show you all three. Um, you have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So it's definitely coming um, in a situation that you feel like you've been hanging in. Okay, there can be um, a new start, new transition, new way of doing things, a new opportunity, something material that comes to the forefront. I feel like for some of y'all, that's why you hang in there. But for some of y'all, you have to release this toxic energy, this toxic way of doing shit. For some of y'all, this could be substance because I'm strong. I'm seeing like a lot of smoke. And hell no, it ain't this damn sage because it didn't win out already. So no, don't come for me who <laughs> trying to be funny. No, it's not the sage, okay? But some of y'all is definitely toxic, a toxic mindset. Some of y'all want to be stuck in the way that you do things, the way that you look at things. And on the cool, you're going to have to shift that perspective if you want to walk into the energy of the magician, okay? You have to look at different, look, look at a new way of seeing things. If for some of y'all, y'all are trying to combine your family, possibly with a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sag could also be with the Capricorn, could also be with an earth sign. Uh, strong emphasis on this damn Taurus, okay? Let's get it. Spirit, please clarify, what is this Ace of Swords? Again, we're going to see Five of Cups, okay? So, for some of y'all, some of y'all felt rejected or felt like you lost out of you didn't get the you didn't get the best end of the stick. However, I feel like some of y'all are going with the flow of things and the way that you're moving. But it's honestly, you're feeling this way because you won't shift your perspective, okay? Look to, do you, do me a favor. For some of y'all, I want you to write this down on paper. I want you to write down, maybe if you're this person that conversated in the past, okay? Or if this is someone, um, because I definitely feel, I feel a past energy. Maybe you felt cut off or you cut somebody off. Somebody is going to come back and give some truth and clarity or this could be you. But I feel like, again, like I told you, you got these two cups standing. If you want to sit and worry about the past and what people did and all of that shit, you're not going to move forward to forward the future. You need to be real with yourself, okay? I feel like for some of y'all, you need to communicate differently. Don't communicate about the past from the first to the 15th. If you're going to communicate about the past, be trying to move forward with an understanding and a compromise with moving forward. And if you're going to do that, leave the past in the past, okay? Because this can be beautiful only if you allow it to. I feel the shuffle again, okay? Um, this five of swords. What if this five of swords for definitely, okay? to a cup. So some of y'all felt like you moved too fast. For some of y'all you feel like you cut off a soulmate union. For some of y'all it could definitely be a Leo or another water sign like yourself. But for some of y'all there's going to be a newness, okay, to someone possibly who you cut you off or you cut them off from the 1st to the 15th of July. You're going to walk into a new with your soulmate, okay? And it's definitely divinely covered. I have the two of cups with the ace of cups. So the divine, the angels are definitely covering this union. For some of y'all, I feel so much twin flame energy is ridiculous. Or this could be someone with the potential of a life partner, someone who you can see as the mother of your children, as a creator, someone you can create with and have abundance with. You see this person as your ten of pentacles, as your infant, as your newness as your son as my two of cups my ace of cups i have to bring balance back to the situation but you can scorpio because you are the magician you can go as far as you believe you can go you are master manifestors use that energy what is this magician 
world card, okay? So I feel like with this world card, again, there's a new cycle to something, okay? You're ending an old cycle and coming into a new way of doing things with someone, and you have everything that you need, all the tools that you need. For some, for most of y'all, this is definitely someone you already know, okay? For some of y'all, y'all could be meeting a new um Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Yes, but in order for you to have this Ten of Pentacles, okay, for some of y'all, some of y'all are communicating as the Knight of Swords. Your communication is reckless as fuck, and that's what's preventing you to move forward towards your Ten of Pentacles, okay? Some of y'all definitely need to work on the way that you communicate, or this could be an, uh, the external energy towards you, Scorpio. I feel like for some, somebody don't know how to talk to somebody, and somebody's going to communicate about that shit in order to bring balance back to the relationship, okay? And again, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Please give me a clarify on the hardship. The lover. So again, this is definitely a twin flame, okay? But some of y'all, I feel like whoever you connected with, I keep hearing I have wrong twin flame. Some someone who you thought was maybe like a soulmate, a karmic soulmate. Some of y'all might just be getting that information from the moon. Remember I told you whatever information, got information you get from the moon. I feel like trust your dreams right now. Because I feel like this person is literally hunting you. You may be sending this person telepathic, telepathic love. However, the same telepathic love that you're sending this person, communicate that in the physical, okay? And I feel like it, everything should go as smooth as you need it to go, as you plan it to go, okay? But this is definitely a soulmate, a twin to you, okay? And again, I told you, that's to clarify the hierophant, okay? So as long as that balance is restored, this can come about because you are the magician, Scorpio. You got the cups with the sun. A newness is definitely coming to a relationship, okay? And so is abundance because I feel like in the past, maybe you couldn't move forward towards this person due to your, I feel like finances possibly stopped you and this person from moving forward as well. But all of that is coming together from the 1st to the 15th of July, Scorpio. You just have to believe and don't be in a negative mindset. First off, you got the lovers, you got the two of cups, the sun, you got the ace of swords two times, you got the ace of pentacles, you got the ten of pentacles. I mean, what more do you, Scorpio, Jew, the 1st to the 15th of July is going to be beautiful. If only you could just move from this past energy of loss, regret, and this is definitely with a soulmate. This was at the bottom of this deck, the six of cups. So this could be someone who you possibly had a past life with or possibly that you've known since you were younger or that you've known, um... You could also have, like I said, you have children with this person as well, but this is definitely a past life connection. you got the six of cups, the two of cups, the lovers in this thing, as well as the sun, okay? So I feel like a newness is coming to us, uh, to a relationship with a, uh, yeah, why I move this cup, or it's called cup, why I move this card, right? Because it was almost finna fall and underneath. So some of y'all could also be connecting and fooling this way about the Aries, okay? So I feel like if you want to reach out, Scorpio, just reach out and Give this person the love that you want to give them instead of the swords. If you give them the cup and be honest about how you're feeling, which is I love you. I'm in love with you. It's okay for you to trust in God's plan and trust the process because it's literally laid out for you. And whether you fight it or not, the angels are protecting it. Look at how many divine cards y'all got with wings on them. Look at this shit. I mean, come on now. You think you think your ego finna get in the way of God's plan. Some of y'all, this person makes you feel in your power. This person makes you feel like the emperor if you're not connecting with Aries. But I touch this card and I strong, this is my card, this is Aries. I strongly feel the emphasis of all this beautiful shit to be had within Aries. And some of y'all are fighting it with childish communication. Some of y'all is a Taurus. For some of y'all is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All the elements are here. You know why, Scorpio? Because you have to end the cycle. Go get your family if you want it. It's abundance. The divine is going to cover the finances if only you believe. But go get what you want because you are the magician and you can have it. Just know you can have it and claim it before you even get there. It's yours. If you need a personal, this is what I got from the 1st to the 15th, y'all. I love you very much. Again, if you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. Until me and my June. Bye, water babies.